Another News 5 exclusive, a Mobile police officer shot in the line of duty, opens up about the traffic stop that could have cost him his life. Mobile police officer Ben Torninsky is recovering at home. He was shot Friday after pulling over a stolen car in West Mobile. News 5's Devin Walsh talked with him today. On the back side of my arm and my tricep, it went in right here. Corporal Ben Torninsky will be wearing a sling for a while. Right in the middle, in the muscle, and then it went up and just below my shoulder. As he recovers from a gunshot wound to his arm. Up there near the shoulder joint, where that white dot is, is where the bullet is lodged. The bullet traveled through his triceps all the way up and is still lodged in his shoulder. The adrenaline spike of what's going on and the awareness of what's going on, I felt it, but I didn't feel pain. There was, there was no pain. I knew I was struck, but I didn't feel any pain. Corporal Torninsky had just pulled over 18-year-old Dejan DuBose on a stolen vehicle call. And before he knew it, he'd been hit. Shift had just started, and it was my first call out the door. So uh, responded to it. and. It happens that fast. His wife, Carmenia, started watching the news coverage. A Mobile police officer was shot this evening in West Mobile. Not thinking it was her husband until she got the call from the captain. It was Ben, and so my heart dropped. So, but thankfully, he had already confirmed that he was okay, you know, that it, was, that it wasn't life-threatening and that he's at the hospital. Torninsky was rushed to the hospital. He hadn't spoken to his wife because his phone was inside his bulletproof vest in his police cruiser, and he couldn't wait to get his eyes on his family. When they came in the hospital and I was able to tell them myself I'm okay and, and uh, you know, I'm going to be okay, and, you know, it was, it, was, it, was, it was good to see him. It was just a relief to see him. Of course, the whole way there, I prayed. Corporal Torninsky believes his strong faith has gotten him through this trauma, and it's his faith that's helping him forgive the suspect. My faith teaches forgiveness, um, you know, but it also teaches discipline and consequence. Um, I, would, I would hope that they would find some kind of peace. As a 13-year veteran of law enforcement, he's known the dangers of the job. But now, he'll never take things like sitting at the Thanksgiving table with his family for granted. There's probably going to be a lot of tears. It's probably going to be a lot of... Uh, you know, a lot more, uh, a lot more love use, more appreciation, just being glad that I can sit at the table and be with my family and my friends. We just have to give praise to God that we have what we have. Corporal Torninsky says he is so thankful for all the calls and texts as well as messages that he's received. He's not sure when he'll be returning to the force, but he plans to put that uniform back on as soon as he undergoes some physical therapy sessions. And he's looking forward to enjoying the holidays with his family. Devin Walsh, WKRG News 5.